Here's Gabe Ross with your first alert forecast. 12 minutes after 5 o'clock on this Thursday and what will hopefully be the last time here in 2023, your tropical weather outlook. The end of the season is today. Happy to report no storms expected to develop in the next week. And again, we'll keep track of this in the off season. As you know, we had 19 named storms, 20 storms total for 2023. Remember, we had the early one in January. Didn't get a technical name, but altogether that would be 20. So that's why you see 19 actual named storms. And here they are. The latest was a category two hurricane by the name of Tammy. As of now, it doesn't look like Vince or Whitney are going to come to fruition. But again, Weirder things have happened in the off season, so that's why we've got to be diligent really year round. Uh, but as you know, we talk about that kind of May or June to late November time frame. So at the finish line, finally, I'm going to delete all those graphics out of my weather system for the time being and just enjoy some holiday ones. West Shore Home First Alert Skycam takes us back to downtown Wilmington. Looking off to the southeast now, not a lot going on, but boy, is it chilly. Here are the temps from the airport. 31 degrees, other stats coming in, feature calm winds, so that has been perfect for a lot of frost formation. Notice temperatures and dew points within close proximity of one another. Low 60s for the afternoon, mostly sunny with clouds gradually on the increase tonight. Not out of the realm of possibility. We get a couple of stray showers uh, by dawn tomorrow. Low 70s for the afternoon, so we'll continue to make gains, but also you'll notice rain chances going on the up and up. Let's track that, shall we? This afternoon, here come the clouds starting to roll in. Perhaps a little bit of moisture getting in the fold too. First thing tomorrow morning, if not right by dawn, then perhaps mid to late morning, just all dependent, of course, on where these offshore cells uh, start to gather. This is modeling, so we take it as guidance rather than gospel. So we are turning more unsettled by tomorrow afternoon. Clouds a little more variable, and so we'll keep those odds around 30%. We'll slowly see those odds tick up as we head toward daybreak Saturday. Not going to be a washout, but again, opportunities for at least some passing showers and even a couple rumbles of thunder. The closer to the coast you live, that wouldn't be a big surprise there. This afternoon temps, we've got mainly middle and upper 50s and lower 60s from there, coasting back into the 40s. So it won't be quite as cold, but you are going to need a jacket, of course, first thing Friday. And not a bad idea to take the umbrella as an insurance policy. 30s possible back near I-95 and areas off to the north. Some lower 50s off to the south. So it will not be a one size fits all temperature pattern like we've seen the last couple of nights. Here comes 60s and eventually 70s for tomorrow afternoon. That'll linger into the weekend. See those rain chances continuing to rise even overnight and then start to taper off getting into early next week. Notice temps cooling down a little bit as well back to the 60s and eventually 50s. Some potential for freezing temps again by Wednesday night. Kim back to you.